Downloading FileZilla. Go to FileZilla-project.org. Click on Download FileZilla Client. Server is uh, if you wanted to host files and share with others. Um, for this purpose, we're using Client. Now you've got a choice of operating systems. I'm assuming that you've got Windows operating system so just click on that download it and install using FileZilla in this video I'm going to show you the basics of FileZilla at the same time I'm going to upload the WordPress 2.5 files in the host box this is where you would enter your host address so your domain name in the username, that's where you'd enter your FTP username. In the password, the password. You don't need to enter port unless your web server is not running on port 21. By default, most web providers have FTP running on port 21. So you simply type in your domain name, your username and your password and hit Quick Connect. Another way you could do this is use Site Manager and have your site installed so all you have to do is go to site manager click on your site and this is handy if you've got multiple sites okay on your web server you'll have multiple directories the directory where you want to install WordPress is public HTML now you'll notice this site has a lot of information already on it so what you want to do is right click create a directory and we'll call it blog double click in the blog directory and this is where we're going to install our blog so open up WordPress and as you can see here's all the files for WordPress simply click on the first one hold in the shift key click on the last and then drag and drop as you can see there's a lot of information up here happening if you have a look in the queue file list this is where all the files are queued you can see there's none failed yet successful transfers. Now this will transfer all that data and I'll show you how to make some file attribute changes so you can check mod, create other directories, uh, make it read and writable shortly. And as you can see all the files have transferred. Now to change a files permission it's simple. Just left click till it's highlighted blue, right click file attributes and this is where you'd enter the 755 so if you wanted 755 or 666 or 777 depends on what your documentation and the instructions um, as you can see it's disconnected now the reason why it's disconnected is that I've left it there for a while if you want to reconnect just hit quick connect and I'll reconnect to the last time as you can see you always have to go through the public HTML and you find your directory blog and here's all the details. In the next video I'm going to show you how to install WordPress 2.5.